welcome back. It's Prince of the Dead episode four. four. Very nice. Is it the very fourth episode? It's the very fourth episode. Excellent. May the fourth be with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, before we continue, and I think we have some cool stuff today. Yeah. Uh, I would like to get rid of these red squigglies. Yeah, sure. Uh, don't live with the broken windows. No. No. So uh, we have like this is it a Joker. I, I think I think it's Joker uh, that's doing the linting for us, and um, it has a dot Joker file. Mm -hmm. So we can just copy this one. Yeah. The problem is that the squigglies are there because we have Joker, which is linting our code, and we haven't told Joker about these macros that we're using. Yeah. So. So now it ignores this. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so over to today's uh, uh, program, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, the plan. So our server is now sending a command, a search in. But ideally, we want to model our game in <laughs> a little bit more... Uh, Higher abstraction? Yeah, a little bit more appropriate abstraction than just random commands to search stuff. Okay. I'm also going to introduce like game.clj at this yes. point. You Good. don't need everything in system. No, 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 no. So we've kind of scaffolded up enough stuff now to start thinking about how we're going to design and build the domain model for this thing. Mm -hmm. And our plan is to basically use event sourcing. Mm -hmm. So we'll, uh, the, most, um, the most important data in our app is the sequence of events that put it in the state it's in. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. So the game will just be a series of events, and then the events will turn into commands to the client. Yes, like a social zombies one, like this one. Yes. And what kind of event is that the response to, do you think? I think it is the add zombie event. Yeah. And the add zombie event has information about the zombie being added, mm -hmm. and probably also the ID at this point. Yeah. Zombie number one. And yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, and then later we'll backtrack even more and start to think about where did that event come from? What yeah. Cause that to happen. But right now we're just going to take our command and try to have a little bit more reasonable reason for it to exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to like take this event and make actions out of it. Yeah. For the client. So that would be like an actionizer. Of course. Actionizer? Isn't that a word? I think, I, I think every project has an actionizer. It's yeah, a very common concept. It's a very common concept. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it's an undead actionizer. And I, I'm already finding that funny for the tenth <laughs> time. Um, okay. So, and probably I want to write some tests for this. Let's do that. And um, let's use Kaucha because yeah. it's an excellent testing library. It is an excellent testing library. So, um, or it's actually an excellent test runner. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because it just uses closure test. Yeah, which is an excellent test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. So there is uh, Kaucha, and we also use No Yoda. Yeah, <laughs> because that? we don't. Uh, if you just use closure test the way that it works, it says is forty two number. <laughs> I reckon we regret that already. But basically. <laughs> We don't like that, so we like to have is and then the it function call and then, then the actual and then the um, expected expected value. Yeah, we have to copy something else, and it is the test dot Eden. Yeah, it's this one. Test dot Eden copy. Yeah. So test dot Eden just uh, sets up Noyoda plugin swap a swap actual and expected and tells it what sort of tests are aware. Yeah. And then oh. we can start the REPL because we added a dependency again. Mm -hmm. We added two dependencies this time. And at this point, we have most of the dependencies we'll use for some time, I think. That is great. I'm sort of tired of typing this stuff out. Yeah. Okay, let's see if everything still works over here. We still have our cool mailman. <laughs> That's great. It's so funky looking. Mm -hmm. And then we have the actionizer, and let's add an actionizer test. Mm -hmm. So we have a def test, um, actionize um, the add, add zombie. zombie event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So let me type that out. System under test, actionize. Or, actionize, or yeah. Or, or should we you, just you can call it like event takes an event and it turns it into action. Action, yeah. Okay. Because one event might end up in multiple actions. Yeah. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Add zombie, and it at least needs an ID. Zombie yeah. one. So my expectation is for this to become the thing that we saw in our system. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. This. Yeah. Uh, except it doesn't have a kind. Okay. And it does have an ID. ID is on B1. Is this okay? Yeah. Looks fine. I will evaluate this and it will be very angry. Yeah. Because that function doesn't exist. So now it's my turn. So now we're in the like test room development groove mm -hmm. over here. Um, what did I do now? You did it, you did it again. <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. <clears throat> Perfect. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should just do it manually. Oh at this point. my god! Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried to use clever editor stuff. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. So it takes in an event, mm -hmm. and then I want to use match again. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'll require a closure core match, match refer match. Mm -hmm. And then we match, uh, so I'll do it like that. And then it says, so the event, let's have the test over here. It says event looks like add zombie. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then here is just the zombie. Mm -hmm. This is just a binding, right? Mm -hmm. And that turns into this thing over here. Mm -hmm. Zombie. And then the ID of the zombie. Uh, ID zombie here, and then we go here, and then the test green. The tests are green. You can see it at the bottom. Yeah. So next up, I'll write another test that fails. Okay. I'm interested in how you're <laughs> going to do that. I can't do that. If you had let me cheat on this one, yeah. I would have been able, but yeah, I won't be able now. So then I won't spend any more time on this. Yeah. This is good enough. So I think we can actually. Uh, just connect this now. Yeah. So we'll head over to our um, system again. Mm -hmm. And we probably don't want to have the entire game happening in here. No, let's create a game loop. Yeah. A game loop uh, namespace. So okay. we'll have game loop, which will be the thing that will keep churning events and turning them into actions, mm -hmm. spitting them to the client. Yeah. And it's going to have a function called... Um, start. Yeah. Start. And like it, that, maybe? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And it needs the WebSocket channel. Yeah. Like that. So we can go like this, and we'll do game loop. <laughs> <laughs> Looping is even more fun when you have three O's in it. Yeah. It loops uh, one more time. Mm -hmm. As game loop. Um, like, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's fine. You just yeah in the middle of writing code. Start uh, WS channel, and then here we'll need to get um, just save. I'll save it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Evaluate. Evaluate this one, and then evaluate this one. Tr sort the requires, and then and try it now. It should yeah. still work. It should still work. Uh, refresh. Here's Excellent. our groovy mailman. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so where does the event come from? We don't really know yet, but we can... It's in, so, the, it's in the game initial events at this point. Right, okay. Yeah. If you open the game, so, you can see it. Yeah, you added it here. Mm -hmm. ah, perfect, okay. So then we'll do this. I have game. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it gets smarter as we go. Yeah, as game. And then we have some initial events, and mm -hmm. we'll put them through the actionizer. Mm-hmm. It needs to be a, <sighs> a, a map cat. Undead. Actionizer. As actionizer. Mm -hmm. And then evaluate, and then I can get some help. Event actions, and then, yeah, so this has to... It has to be map catted. So you do it once for every event engine. Yeah, uh, because this is a list of events. Mm -hmm. I see. Map cat. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. That should be it. And then, uh, if all is well, we'll still have a mailman. Mm -hmm. Okay, just for kicks. 
Oh yeah, let's change it. Uh, yeah. We had also, I think, something like a um, we had a lawyer. I think lawyer. Okay. Yeah. Evaluate. Mm -hmm. Refresh. There's the lawyer. Woohoo! She's hell scary. Mm -hmm. So perfect. That worked. We've made a move in the direction of some domain logic. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're happy. Maybe we're happy. Mm -hmm. So the next time we can explore more events and see where they come from. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so I will now do my ungodly committing ritual, mm -hmm. which ends in this terrible, terrible commit message of episode very four. See you around. See you around.